Um, yeah. He's actually, he's going to be in a movie with y'all, correct? Yes. That's the movie that I just finished editing. <laughs> oh, wow. That's cool. So it's... Yeah, um, it was, uh, it's called All Chill. Um, Vagabond. Uh, has a name? Vagabond Story. And it's about... It's written by... Um, well, created by Eddie Frankie and written by Eddie Frankie and Karen Morris. It takes on a fictional reality of the homeless revolting towards the rich. Oh, okay. It's a very interesting concept he's presenting as to what would happen if the homeless would unite and fight in their situation. And it's based, of course, in, you know, it's a good political com- uh, and social commentary on the current situation of homeless. And one of the reasons I was very interested and caught my attention was because what Eddie managed to do, he created a hero out of the most unlikely of stereotypes, yeah, which, is the, which is the homeless. That's a pretty cool perspective. Exactly, exactly. uh, And also, he's doing it from the female point of view, a mother and a daughter. Huh, well that's interesting. Right, so the movie's called Old Chio. The daughter is Old Chio, and I play her mother. And we both have a very radical way of fighting the um, injustices from society. And the movie is really, really... It's going to be really, really good. So what, what, what's going on is this. It's a trilogy, and oh. I was approached back in January to just be the face of this character, Lucia, which is the mother. Right. And it was just a novel at the time, a script. And one thing led to another, and we just filmed the, what's going to become the short film in May. Oh, that's cool. Right, and uh, just as of yesterday, we finished the editing. So it's going to come out very, very soon on, online for people to see. Okay, that's cool. I'll, I definitely have to look into that. It sounds very interesting. Yeah, that's... It's that's... very, very nicely done on the whole bit. Extremely economical, wonderful. I mean, it was done with great talent. So, I mean, we, we achieved a level that it was, it's really, really nice, all things considered, that we're not talking millions of dollars. We're just talking very, very conservative and really right. nice. I, I like the fact that it touched on the character development and the storyline. Very, very nice. Right. And that, that should be actually because of, it should be out by the time we have this, we air the show. Oh, that's cool. And that's going to be an online release. It's a 20-minute short film. Great characters. And the the the, um, the plan is for the short to create interest. And uh, then we can film the feature and then the trilogy. Because there's right. so, much, so much story he's telling. It's so complex. Yeah. Is, yeah, it's three. Three books. So it's pretty cool. That's uh, that's pretty neat. Now, where did y'all shoot that at? That we shot in Kentucky. Really? Wow. Yes. Very close. Uh, that's, that's, yeah, that's very close. Uh, Louisville and surrounding okay. area, Meade County. <laughs> that's pretty cool. That's... Yeah, and uh, that that going back to Rodney, um, we've all already been friends by now, and uh, we were thinking, oh, then it would be great to meet. And um, I I told him, hey, listen, I'm going to be filming this short film in Kentucky area. Right. And, and he suggested, oh, I'd love to come by and, and meet you the whole bit. <clears throat> we were arranging a whole meet and a whole bit. And uh, it turns out that he came with a, a part of the team, the Black Diamond Paranormal Society team, yeah. to visit the shoot. <clears throat> Excuse me. And at the same time, they became part of the film. And we, and yes, yeah, they're all in it. So. That's pretty cool. We, exactly. They all, uh, had characters, they played homeless, they played the lady of society, the whole thing. So it was a really, really fun experience. 